Hey guys, welcome to SourceFed. I'm Joe Beretta. I'm Trisha Hirschberger. Due to what's being described as a, quote, catastrophic anomaly, a rocket ferrying almost 5,000 pounds of food, water, equipment, and experiments to the International Space Station exploded in spectacular fashion last night, just moments after liftoff from a launch pad in Virginia. NASA commissioned orbital sciences to send eight cargo missions up to the good old boys and girls on the ISS, and this was the third attempt. Tragically, however, the mission, dubbed Orb 3, barely made it off the ground before something went awry in the first stage of the Antares rocket launch. Just 11 seconds into its ascent, the catastrophic anomaly took hold and the rocket plummeted back down to Earth. The silver lining here is that this was an unmanned mission and no casualties or injuries have been reported. Just a really big boom to showcase the first catastrophic disaster since NASA started paying private companies the big bucks to Sherpa supplies up to space. Silver lining number two here is that the six astronauts currently doing the space science things on the ISS are well stocked and will not be left waiting for supplies. Especially because a second rocket carrying provision successfully launched in Kazakhstan only hours after the explosion in Virginia. Trish, what do you say we break down what was broke down in the breakdown? Yes, sir. The explosion took out water and space food. And experiments centered around pea shoot growth in space. Apparently, pea shoots possess lots of good minerals and vitamins and stuff, and they're a candidate for potential num-nums during long space missions. Also lost were experiments studying blood flow in the brain, which would help develop treatment for neurological problems suffered in space, as well as a meteor study that analyzed the atmosphere to better understand how planets develop. Moving forward, Rocket debris detectives will sift through the wreckage and try to sleuth out exactly what went wrong, because right now they just straight up don't know. VP of Orbital Science Corp, Frank Colbertson said, What we know so far is pretty much what everybody saw in the video. The ascent stopped, there was some, let's say, disassembly of the first stage, and then it fell to Earth. We don't really have any early indications of exactly what might have failed, and we need some time to look at that. VP of My Reaction, when I saw this video, Joe Beretta said, quote, Oh, cool, look at that, but oh, damn, that sucks. Guys, moving forward, do you think NASA should continue to utilize private companies for space missions, or should government funding be filtered back into the program so NASA can launch their own dang rockets? Let us know down below. And then please like the video and subscribe to the channel if you could, and click the annotation if you want to watch some more stories from SourceFed. I'm Joe Beretta. I'm Trisha Hershberger. Oh, damn, cool. It's Trisha Hers Hershberger. Oh, oh, but damn, that sucks. It's Joe Beretta. Oh, no, I'm kidding. Oh,